Hey friend, welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We are checking in for your energies, sun, moon, rising, Pisces. So let's see what's going on and how we can support your journey. I mean, this can be for any Pisces placement. We're just checking in with the most dominant energies. Uh, so yeah, let's get you some guidance on what's going on as we connect further into the week. Okay. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. Let's just get a few to get started. Don't let pride get in your way. Your loved ones are safe and show the world the real you. This is interesting because I think these cards came out the other week for you. All right, so I'm just popping them there and then we'll dive in deeper to the messages. I mean, I think straight up when we connect into this energy, there's something I feel that you want to do that you could be questioning, like any decision that you're making, how's that impacting other people around you or some situation that you're going through right now, you know, like, are you guys going to be okay? And if that's the question, I feel like the answer is it's letting you know, yes, you, everything, like you're being supported universally right now. And in addition to that, there's also something you may be feeling called to do that you're without realizing maybe subconsciously is you get into protective mode of things that you already have and it's part of your comfort and safety. But I feel you're also being asked to extend yourself a little bit in kind of chasing or following some path and journey you're being called for. Maybe you've got some purpose or some project or some niggle within you that you want to explore or want to, you know, participate in. And I feel like spirit's letting you know, like that, that is cool. We, we got you. Like it's time to shine. Um, this is not a time to hold back. This is a time to shine. So if you're concerned about other people as part of this journey, they're like super cool. Um, they're going to be supported. This is just going to be as good um, for them as it is for you. Like anything, you know, there can be growing pains, but I think that's the part and the beauty of the journey, right? We get to learn more about ourselves. We get to expand more. We get to get a, build a bit more courage, a bit more strength in different areas. So I feel like, yeah, you're... Um, you may just be making or someone is kind of making, again, I don't want to say excuses, but it's part of that procrastination um, that we can get stuck in that we distract ourselves in some way or another or put situations in focus as kind of justification of not to do something or justification for certain behaviors or to do something. So just check in with that because I feel like that's the part of this pride getting in the way. Um, you know, some little story I think that's being said here uh, that's coming on in. So let's take a peek at some further energies that we need to connect in to. And um, yeah, in terms of the overall energies as we dive further in that you need to know regarding a current situation for our beautiful friend. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we've got sacrifice energy. What else do we need to know? Sacral chakra. Interesting. I did a pretty cool meditation this morning on this, the sacral chakra. Emotional withdrawal. One more. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Deception and envy and patience. So let's just move this over a tad. Okay. Interesting energy to pop up. We always love that, don't we, guys? <laughs> All right. So what I see here, um, we've got little Miss Muffet. I don't know why she's just the cat that is, Miss Clover. Just getting into things. I love their curiosity, but sometimes it's like, just chill. Um, okay. So sacrifice, sacral chakra, emotional withdrawal, deception and envy and patience. 
Okay, so just connecting into that energy. There may be something right now you're being asked to look at from a different perspective with this sacrifice energy. Um, what this is, what this may mean to you. I don't know, again, kind of the situation that's showing up is like a change, a move, a shift in some direction or path that you are questioning or looking at. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's a part just like looking at things from a, a perhaps a different perspective um, and taking a step back or putting some arm's length to it. Um, like you, your own best friend. Okay. I just feel like is what's coming on in. Um, further to that with the sacral chakra and then the emotional withdrawal, I can see you're going to walk away from something here or there's a situation that you're being asked to get more creative on what this move or change is going to be made. It's interesting we've got emotional withdrawal showing up. Um, but, you know, I think just naturally when we enter new situations, we have changes in our life or challenges in our life and challenge can be a positive thing. It doesn't need to be a negative thing. Naturally, you know, we need to shift our mindset to support whatever situation that we're in. The more that you can, you know, I think be fluid and flexible with that, the more supportive it is for you. So I think just naturally with whatever change that you make, you, you're just going to know that you're not going to put as much energy and effort into it anymore, right? Because you've got something else that's creating that's brewing that your energy is required for that and your emotional um, intent as well so I think just naturally that happens but if you're finding yourself in a situation that someone's withdrawing from you um, there's going to be some questions that come in here or maybe to um, someone's approach ends up being a little bit different than what you're used to and I feel that that is going to raise a flag for you in terms of something, some situation that you're dealing with. This has come through a fair bit um, with something that you're working on or something that you're connecting to or someone you're connecting to. It's like there's a bit of a shift in energy where someone may retract emotionally or someone's just th the way that they're participating is different. So it's raising a flag like what, you know, like something feels off, like what are they up to? What's going on kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm getting that. It's interesting too, then you have the patience energy. So where this, this little bit of disruption going on, I feel like there's something else coming on or coming through the other side. It's terms in something that's already been planted that is kind of working its way into growing or moving something in the, the most positive direction forward, right? Patience is needed. Um, I think there's like a trust in the process or acknowledging that there's a process to things that still need to unfold um, where you you'll be able to identify and see, oh, this is actually working out for me or where this is heading or where this is going. So um, let's dive in a little bit deeper and see what else spirit wants you to know. I've already shuffled and cleared, but I just like to shuffle again just to connect into the energy. So what do we need to know about this sacrifice energy? seven of inspiration. Okay. So I just want to let you know with this, don't let pride get in your way and the sacrifice energy showing up. It could be too, that you may think you know better in terms of the situation or you figured something out. And I feel like spirit saying like, again, take a step back from something to really look at the situation. I feel like you need to give yourself advice from a different angle or like step away. There's something about stepping away and maybe it's, you need to step away emotionally if you're emotionally invested in something and it's kind of like rose colored glasses. Okay. So that's just coming up as a side message for someone just to let you know. Uh, yeah, just not getting blinded by something here. Okay. So sacrifice, which is like the hanged man, just so you guys know, um, with the seven of inspiration and the Hierophant, so there's something here that someone definitely believes in or someone is working really hard towards. It could also be too that you've had to block a situation or put like a hold on something right now um, on some commitment, okay? Or something like some experience that you perhaps are wanting to go on or that's being presented right now. This could be in relation to any sort of commitment that you have, but I feel like this is more... Um, some form of spiritual expression that you're learning, maybe even with boundaries around something, but 
Sorry, there's something that's trying to come through here. It's like I'm hearing, like, I know what I said, but. So I don't know what that's about. Um, I know what I said, but. So someone may be stopping or blocking some commitment or some something that you believed you were heading towards. Um, but someone may have a bit of a different idea than what you thought or what they said initially because it's, I know what I said, but, which means that whatever they said is no longer relevant. Let's get a little bit more here on the seven of inspiration. What do we need to know? Okay, so it's some path or some journey with this four of wands, some commitment. Um, it could be a marriage. It could be um, a certain path that you, you want to go or wanted to go. Um, there's either some form of determination. I do need to unpack this a little bit more or I feel like there's been some block um, around this. You could be blocking it as in you're willing to take a certain path, a certain destination, knowing that something is not serving you. But for you to do that, it's taken a big deal. Like it's been a big deal to be able to go, I'm just not participating in that or I'm not going to do that or whatever it may be because – it's like you know where you're meant to be. So you could like be rejecting an offer, an opportunity in something, but you're willing to do that for a better outcome is what I feel is showing up here. So let's just dive in a little bit more. Or it could be what you're being asked to pay attention to or look at. Okay, the Hierophant and Nine of the Emotions. Yeah, because I just, I feel like there's something coming through here that's getting like, that's sparking more interest for you. And maybe, you know, whether it's a relationship, a job offer, an opportunity, it's like this comes through, but whatever comes through initially, it's like you might consider it, but I feel like you might put a hard stop to it because there's something that you believe in that is meant for you. And a part of what's meant for you, it's like it kind of... Uh, it, it finds you, right? What, what you seek is seeking you. So I think there's something here that finds you and a part of whatever finds you, it's like this commitment to it because you really believe in the fulfillment of it, okay? Um, let's dive a little bit deeper on what we need to know. Okay, so we've got the queen of voices. Let's just get one more. And the five of materials, yeah. So there's definitely some form of withdrawal here. Um, or effort being put into something, okay? With this queen of voices and five of materials. And it could be a conversation that's had or some clarity you've received in terms of some, it's interesting how this queen of voices is looking at the Hierophant. So looking at some commitment, some journey that you're going on and really looking at what feels like that's where I'm meant to be. That's what I'm meant to create, I just, I feel like there's just this knowing, this deep knowing of something that's meant to come to life or something that's meant for you um, that's showing up here. And I feel like you're on that journey to find that uh, and, and being okay right now to say no to anything that's not in alignment with it, which I think is pretty badass, but it's interesting at the same time, is there some commitment here that you've made that you've put an end to or stopped to or decided to go into because you've got the clarity now of that that sings to you in a different like whatever next is coming through so there's something that's singing to you in a positive way because you've got clear on it but I still feel there's more going on here queen of voices yeah see that's what I mean it's like you've got some clarity on a commitment or a connection or a path or journey that you want to go on and I feel like you, whatever information you end up receiving or coming into, it's like, you know what you're doing with that and you're taking, taking a step forward on what that is. Um, I know the fall sometimes can be like a bit of a silly journey as in that's how the fool comes across. It's like they're being foolish, right? They're not, they're not really watching where they're going. They're walking off a cliff. This fool energy is like you've chosen to climb up to the higher realms here and really connect into what this means for you, what this commitment, what this journey, what this pathway to feeling 
wholesome, right? And I feel like that's what's happening here. It's like you've got the clarity, you've got some download or some information that's come through to you that makes sense. And whatever makes sense here, it's like I'm going for that true north. I'm heading that path and direction. So whatever happens here, you do that. But it's like you're leaving something behind. Let's learn a little bit more. You could be leaving like a work that or a commitment in connection with someone because exactly it's like I'm not fulfilled here I'm not getting what I fully need here or I'm not going to participate in situations that I just don't feel can give and um you know to the capacity that you give like you you're just really in alignment I think with what you want and you're really looking at that or assessing that because this rejection or whatever you say put a stop to or no to it's so supportive sure there's some loss to it but look what comes out on the other side with this queen of materials. That's queen of pentacles energy. It's like what is lost opens or what is chosen to not participate in. You're getting like a bucket load of, whoa, massive opportunity. Like in terms of like whether it, this is related to funding, money, um, some form of support, some form of role that's just going to put, put you in quite a prominent position. And there's this trust in who you are, what you're doing, what it becomes. So I really like that for you because whatever chance that you're taking, I see this becoming super successful. So um, I like that for you. Deception and envy, two of inspiration. Knight of Materials, one more. Thank you, Spirit. Eight of Materials, okay. So you may need to re-look at some form of plan um, in terms of this situation. And the reason I say that, Deception and Envy, um, the Seven of Swords can also be about strategy. Because it's particularly saying Deception and Envy, I think, again, there's just something here about re-looking at plans or being honest with yourself of where something is at and what you may need to tweak as part of it. And I feel like once you kind of understand someone's motive, someone's intentions or the place and destination, this something is going. Um, I mean, it, there's movement forward. It's not standing still. This night is not standing still, even though it may be the slowest in, in the deck in terms of what's being offered it's something pretty solid and profound, okay? It's not something to be taken lightly, but it's coming towards you here. And once this comes towards you or you really understand what this offer, I mean, you could be creating an offer and putting it out into the world, okay? Or someone's presenting an offer, an opportunity to you. Um, but what I really like is whatever this is, as it turns up, it's definitely adding a lot more work into your life, a lot more opportunity with this aid of materials. So if you will find that if there's a bit of a pause, it's like all of a sudden this thing takes off. Uh, two of inspiration, what do we need to know? I like that. You've got the muse of emotions showing up here. Okay. So the muse of emotions, that's like the queen of cup, sorry, king of cups um, energy. So the Queen of Materials with the King of Cups, I mean, that's a pretty pretty badass pair right there, okay? The King of Cups is someone who just knows how to nurture something, put energy, effort into making something work that's very heart-led, um, very, you know, usually has a lot more depth in the way that things are created and supported, okay? And then with the Queen of Materials, there's also a lot of abundance that comes from it. In addition to the abundance, it's like this nurturing capacity as well, but from a, a bit of a different a different grounded space. This one is probably more emotional. This one's more practical. So the two together can be a very powerful force, whatever that is or becomes. So I feel like any plans or path forward, it's just mentioning here, like connect into the deep parts of your heart and soul on what drives this forward and don't lose that part because that's critical to whatever this success is um, moving towards or coming into. And I think too, this could also be like whatever's being presented presented here or withdrawn again you got to take which side that this is kind of flowing for you there's something here is like don't ignore what matters to you at when you're making plans don't ignore those parts that has quite significance and relevance for you because if you miss it now and kind of negotiate or or dismiss that part you're gonna it's gonna be a cost later on down the line it will catch up with you okay so just be mindful of that too Knight of Materials. Knight of Materials.
Okay, we've got the uh, Justice Energy and the Knight of Voices. So yeah, whatever like you're needing clarity on, anything that needs to balance out, if this is some form of negotiation or to contracts, I feel like the offer will be solid and maybe a little bit slower to get to that result. But whatever it is, um, you're going to get the the information that you seek here, okay? Um, shame on this... Knight of Voices, what do we need to know about that? Yeah. I like it. So there's something pretty solid that's going to give you some pretty strong clarity on the path forward here. So I feel like that's going to bring a fair bit of peace to you. Um, it's interesting too because there's something about someone being at a distance that may also be communicating with you. Shame on, on the justice energy. So I do feel financially you're going to get something out of this, okay, because that's showing um, some form of harvest, right? Um, so whatever you've put in the, in the past, it's kind of, I'm getting a little bit of karmic energy as, you know, and that can be really supportive. So um, yeah, I just feel like whatever's coming through with this justice energy and some form of communication, it's now setting a path for, for a new chapter to work towards. But I feel there's also more financial uh, rewards and benefits as well with that. Uh, Ada materials, you've got the muse of materials. This is beautiful. So talk about the dialing up as we're talking about pentacles, money, finances, um, and solid, like solid solidarity um, in a sense of like strengthening whatever you're building and creating here in your life. I feel like um, whatever that you end up working on is going to be very... Uh, what's the word, like lucrative, successful, built upon, like it's such a solid foundation wherever that you're entering into right now, I just feel is going to grow. So whatever you end up investing in here, this new path, this new doorway um, that you kind of get confirmation and clarity on, I really see this as a huge win. Um, you could be coming into partnership with someone or you might just find too, whatever this partnership is, um, there's a part of you that really has to, like you're leading something potentially here and a part of leading that naturally, you've got to dive into that part of you to just make shit happen and really step in and making like pretty significant decisions with whatever this growth is, or you're being asked and called in to join forces on building something that I think you're really going to like, really going to enjoy. But like I said, there's still something here that I feel you're putting a hard stop on, um, along the path because you know that there's still something out there for you that you're really feeling called to do and you're taking a chance on that and kind of leaving some other dream or commitment behind because whatever's being presented is really not matching it when you take a step back and have a look, okay? So um, just, yeah, I think there's a part of not getting caught up in, oh, I've got this opportunity, maybe I should take it, like that's really great. That's nice but is it true to what you want to build for your life forward because that one decision can change your whole trajectory it's kind of like that sliding doors approach if you're familiar with that movie um you know that five minute missing that train or not feeling well and going home or whatever it is it can just change everything right and I feel like this is a key component to that there's something here that's birthing. There's something here that you're being asked to create and step into. And I feel like when that truth is in alignment, what can happen um, in support of that. So I like it for you and I like it a lot. Let's uh, get some advice here and what you need to know. Let's get some advice here for our friend, daughter value. I like that. What else do we need to know? Healer of the age. I, I felt like I got, um, just to quickly tell you, because I'm saying healing over the ages, I feel like I got better for a day or two. And now I'm like, I'm starting to feel like, oh, I'm getting sick again. So maybe I just got a bit of a high with Mother's Day weekend, but oh, a lot of love. I hope you felt the love. Um, cornucopia. And the love in any way, whether it's, you know, celebrating life, uh, whether it's, you know, just being grateful for where you're at. Um, and that you're thought of and if you have the blessing of being a mum or having your mum around like that's extra special so soak that in 
Uh, I think it's important not to feel guilty because you have those things and where other people may not. And I think it's also too, you know, to sometimes there is the sadness when we don't have those things um, where we feel we're missing out. There's something beautiful about you and I want to celebrate you. Um, If you are, you know, consider yourself a motherly figure if you don't have... um, you know, children or your mum around, like just remember that you bring blessings to other people and it's really great to celebrate the life of others as well um, as just a part of also receiving in uh, and acknowledging what you also contribute in the world with your feminine energy as well. So I just want to let you know that. Um, But yeah, definitely felt a lot of love from a lot of people just you know, sharing the love at the end of the day. So I want to just share that back with you. I know when I'm reading, doing this message and sharing this message, it's the day before. So we've only just wrapped up Mother's Day and I didn't share much about that. I was going through my own emotional, um, I think, expression with gratitude and just a little bit of sadness too. So Anyway, guys, all right. So this door to value with Healer of the Ages, Hostilities, Attachment, Cornucopia, in terms of the advice and the outcome. So I can see here that there's something you know that you're being called or being like, I feel this pull. It's like, I feel like a line's gone out and you're being fished in right now. Um, Again, this is like a spiritual calling or, and when I say spiritual calling, like a soul calling, like you're being called to go somewhere, do something, but it's also showing that it's quite lucrative on the other side. Once you put into it, you get, will get a lot of return back from it. Um, in addition to that healer of the ages, you could be stepping into a role that is going to be a lot like really supportive for a lot of people. Like the work that you put out there is going to shine a light and help a lot of people and healing can come in many different forms. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are an actual in a position where you're healing people, just the work that you do, that the lives that you touch, you may not realize the resonance it has and changes lives. So I don't know what field that you work in, but don't underestimate your, um, your, the way that you engage, approach, participate. There's something here that I feel, I just getting like you're leading into a little bit um, in terms of that journey. Some of you may go into spiritual work. Sure. What I'm also getting here too, you may have like a leader or someone that's working with you that also adds a a dose of that into your life in return, which is really cool. It's interesting though, we have hostilities and attachments. So this could be something in between that you're working through. Um, I'm not concerned about this. I feel like whatever this, whenever this comes up, I do feel like it's something you notice, but I feel it's going to be a bit of a breeze for you. And what I mean, like a bit of a breeze, just, I just feel like you're quite in balance of where you're at. So whatever does come up for you, um, in terms of a situation that you may have to deal with, I just feel on the other side, you, you got this. Um, I think it's just, too, like having the clarity and the discernment of how to deal with this situation, because we did have this last time. I just feel like in between this, someone's going to have their own agenda. So it could be with an opportunity that's presented. They may want to work with you or may want to date you or may want to do something that they've got an expectation for. And you might go, that's not in alignment with where I'm heading. And they may not like that, but, and it may cause a little bit of conflict for someone. But I think there's just this strength and confidence that you have. It's like, but it's good. I still, you know, appreciate it. I value it. It's just not where I'm going. Um, because I've got, I know, I know what this four of wands feels like. I know what it's like to be connected spiritually and feel an F yes energy. I know when I get there that it's like a wish that's fulfilled for me and it's okay to be selfish on that journey. And I feel like there's just something that you're very focused on, but you'll know when you find it, even if you don't have all the answers yet, but that's making someone else feel a bit uncomfortable, I feel, because they've got their own expectation. But what I love here is that wrapping up, you've got cornucopia, which is the the beautiful harvest, the 1111 energy, right? Uh, of just, yeah, golden. I don't, there's a song I can hear. I know it's by Hippie Sabotage. 
golden. Yeah, I can't think of the I, c- I can't think of the lyrics, but it's got something to do with golden. Um, and it's like taking a chance on something that the returns ends up being golden. Um, even though it may not make sense to other people, for you it makes sense. And, it, and it's like you receive the rewards, the benefits, the outcome. Um, and just it uh, keeps just uh, hearing the word golden. So there's something pretty amazing coming out on the other side. So go have fun with that, Pisces. I know that there, um, you know, there might be some some tough moves that you've got to make, but I know whatever decision that you're going to make, your family's supported, you're supported, and it's time to, sh- to do the things that are true to you and in alignment with you. And I think, again, it's okay to deliver with tact and care um, because just with this pride getting in your way, I just, I just think there's something that might be how people also looking at you, like, who do you think you are because you are such on a you're on a real path and journey and destination right now for this next part of your life on what that means to you so I really like it I really really like it and um yeah wishing you the best for whatever this is cheering you on if you haven't joined the soul collective and you'd like to be part of our members group it's around soul growth self-healing you know building a future and kick-ass life that you want to live and you know just doing it with I don't know just a lot of heart-led uh energy and just knowing you can create all the things in your life and you've got a you're not alone on the journey right so if you want to join there is um a free membership to get started where we share any energy updates and uh, other things there to support relationships and so on but in addition to that if you want to get more connected um with the gang and kind of you know step in once a week where we get together I'd love to do that with you um, as we are building that out and growing first link below is for the extendeds Uh, you do get access for the month so uh, we do extendeds at least three times a week plus bonus sessions Um, and second link below if you want to join our free membership I will send you the details on how to get in there all right guys love you bye